right. So, um, we all know Roger has amazing qualities, his integrity, his, he's good looking, he has a great crew. But uh, let's get down to brass tacks. The first day of shooting on the first movie we did with Roger, Barton Fink, um, we started, I, we must have gotten the first shot off around eight in the morning and, <clears throat> excuse me, and uh, we wrapped at around 11 in the morning. And I was like, hang on, who is this guy? I, I had barely digested my breakfast burrito. I mean, it was, uh, and Ethan very soberly pointed out that we hadn't seen the dailies yet, so don't get too excited. Um, uh, but we did see the dailies in due time the next day, which were beautiful, as uh, they always are working with Roger. Um, the days have gotten longer, I have to say, um, but the dailies have stayed the same, and uh, we've had decades of uh, most amazing collaboration with him, and I, I fully believe what Agnieszka said, our movies would not be uh, what they are, whatever they are, um, uh, if it hadn't been, if it wasn't for Roger. So thank you, Roger. I'm uh, last in line. I'm going to make my remarks very brief because I know Roger is anxious to speak. Um, I, re I also remembering Barton Fink, uh, the scene we did, we, we were doing a love scene between the John Turturro character and the Judy Davis character. And we were trying to figure out how to cover it and we agreed that we should cover it by panning off of the two of them and doing a completely unmotivated track away from them into a bathroom and up into a sink and then down through the plug hole of the sink. And um, first of all, all you uh, DPs in the audience know how hard it is to get an Aeroflex camera through the plug hole of the sink. <laughs> but my point is not the narrow technical point, it's that Roger agreed that was the right thing to do. And uh, even Joel and I don't know why that was the right thing to do. And also, actually, you know, in the, in the 10 movies, I think it's 10 that we've done since then, whenever there's a, whenever we're in a kitchen or a bathroom, Roger, when we're talking about how to cover the scene, Roger invariably suggests that we cover it by panning over and tracking up to the sink and through the plug hole, <laughs> <clears throat> except on True Grit, where we didn't have any kitchens or... <laughs> but the broader point is, Roger somehow understands all of that, even when it doesn't make sense and serves all of that even when it doesn't make sense. And that's a remarkable thing. So thank you. <laughs>